Hi, I'm Dave and this is Carve Tools. This is our Whirlpool front loading dryer. The dryer has stopped drying. There were no air codes displayed and hopefully just a heater element has failed and not a control board. In this video, I will show you how I test and replace the heating element. Before removing any appliance panels, always unplug the power cable to keep from getting electrocuted. Here are a few tools I will be using. A quarter inch nut driver, a quarter inch socket and ratchet, and a multimeter. The front panel has to be removed to gain access to the heater. Open the storage drawer to access the panel screws. Ah, that's where we keep the beach towels. Using the nut driver, I remove the two panel screws. To show how I tested the heater element, I will remove the heater housing from the dryer. When a circuit is being tested and the meter displays OL, indicating over limit or input out of range, this means that a circuit being tested is open. A good heating element will measure about 10 ohms resistance. Here I measure across the heating element and it reads a well. That means it is bad, or you could say out of luck in this case. I will measure across the high limit thermostat and it is good. Now I will measure across the high limit thermal fuse and it is good. Okay, the heating element is defective, so let's remove it. Before disconnecting any wires, I will snap a picture with my smartphone because a picture is better than my memory. You can replace the heating element from here, but I will take it out again just to show you how to test the circuit. If the meter reads OL, the circuit is open. Here I measure the heating element, and the element is bad. Here I measure across the high limit thermostat, and it checks good. Now I measure across the high limit thermal fuse, and it checks good. One other check I like to make is to measure if the heating element is grounded, and it checks good. To remove the heating element from the housing, I will take out the two quarter inch screws. A little force will be required to pull the element out. And here is the heating element. Now even if you do not have a multimeter, you can still check for a broken heat coil visually. I'm looking for a break in the heater coil wire, and here it is, an open circuit. In other words, it is burned up. Now this is a genuine Whirlpool part, and for safety reasons, I recommend purchasing a new OEM replacement part. Here's the part number I need. If you need the model number and serial number of your appliance, it is often located just inside the door opening. Since being a do-it-yourself kind of person, I will go to Amazon and enter the part number, and I will buy an OEM replacement part. Okay, the part's on order, so while I'm waiting for my part from Amazon to arrive, it is a good idea to vacuum out the accumulated lint, and I'll go ahead and clean out the exhaust vent. I'll use my shop vac, and here's my lint lizard and vent sweep to clean with. This lint lizard works just like liposuction. Just jab it in and suck the lint out. Wow, that Amazon Prime is fast. Cool. How did the drone ring the doorbell? Now here's the new heating element. I verify the part numbers are the same. Insert the heating element. Tighten the screws. The resistance of the new heating element measures 9.9 ohms. And I will check again to make sure it is not shorted to the housing. And it checks good. Using the picture I snapped a few minutes ago, I will reconnect the wires. 
Be sure to take your time and get the wires correct. Here I insert the heater housing and tighten the screw. Using a multimeter, once again, I check for any shorts. Okay, I do not recommend you doing this, but I'm going to plug in the power cord and I want to show you how this element glows when the dryer is running. Last step is to reinstall the front panel and the repair job is done. And the dryer is back in service. If you feel uncomfortable removing panels and probing around inside your dryer, by all means, call the repairman. If this video was helpful in getting your dryer repaired, then please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I'm Dave, and this is Carve Tools. Have a great day. How on earth did that drone ring the doorbell? That's so weird.